bank holiday weekend, people are out cutting their grass on a... No, it's Monday, Gary, isn't it? Monday, I thought it was a Sunday. Look what we've got. Someone's just come in with a lawnmower. It don't run properly. Let's see if we can get it sorted from Satan. Carry on enjoying their weekend or Monday. the old boy it's his job he's all gloved up i'm getting dirty carry on right what we've got here then is a mountfield 46 centimeter 18 inch cut lawnmower what's the problem with this gary uh it's just running when it wants to no it don't always start and then when it does start it's hunting so sounds like a typical problem with the uh, carb which is the diaphragm and gasket and uh, we're just going to take it off now. He's already checked the oil level, which seems to be at its maximum, isn't it? Just over maximum, yeah. Just over maximum. Never good to overfill these things at the end of the day. So uh, we're just going to take the top off now, have a look at it, change the gasket and diaphragm, and a presto, the job should be a good one. Now, typical on all these Briggs and Strattons here, as you can see there, they are a T20 Torx bit. This one's normally hidden, as you can see, under a screw there. And people normally rip these apart, and that's how you can normally tell that they've been played about it before. We normally like to cut these afterwards nice and round so it doesn't look like that when you pass them back to the uh, the customer. So we just remove that and that reveals the normal pull cord mechanism. And again, this ain't, ain't too bad to nick this one. I wish we would have had this, but uh, it's a nice easy one to repair by the looks of it. And that's why we only really buy these type of Briggs and Stratton, as I've said in many of our other videos, because they are nice and easy to repair and we do carry spares. So as you can see, it has been running all right. And the first thing we look for is uh, the governor springs, which you're in the shadows. But the governor springs all seem to be correct there. Push the prime, we're pushing that and the fuel sh shoots into the tank nicely, so I'm happy with that. Always good to have a look underneath the uh, recoil cover because sometimes if you've got a mower which is running too fast, we've seen it before where you've had all sort of rubbish in here stopping the governor arm from opening and if it doesn't open fully and move smoothly like this one obviously does, that can cause it to over rev as well and be uh, running too fast if this is uh, got rubbish in there or blocked up or, or something. So yeah that looks all alright at the moment. Just going to take the fuel tank off now as we always do and that's with a 10 mil or a 3 8 bolt at the front and round here you've also got the uh, half inch or 13 mil you know how to do these off by hand now don't you that's it, yeah. but as i say bank holiday monday we're just doing this to help someone out because that's the sort of people we are. So, I mean, anyone can really learn. These are learnable skills. If, you're, if you want a hobby or something, or you want to earn some extra money, start repairing these little lawnmowers. These are probably the most common ones. I know that you get a lot of the newer ones have got uh, different, slightly different carb setups, different engines. The ones to go for, or the ones to work on, are these little Briggs and Stratton ones. Uh, they are ultra reliable. The parts are easily readily available and they're simple to repair. You only need a basic tool kit. I think the only tools he's got out here at the moment, well, in fact, I'll show you. Let me show you what he's got. And anyone can buy these. Don't take a lot to set yourself up. Let's show you. As you can see, basic tool kit. We've got a 10 mil, 13 mil spanner. You can buy them small little socket sets anyway. Torx bits, as you can see there, that, they come in a lot of these um, socket sets that you get nowadays anyway. We've got a spark plug spanner. We've got a wire brush. Although we've got a compressor, to blow the air out you can buy air in a can as well spray air and obviously your main part is your gasket and diaphragm carb kit there uh, we had a video where we showed the, the the pitfalls of buying pattern parts although this is a good quality pattern part the uh, cheap uh, ones that you can get put in bulk the pennies from China or the Far East don't seem to really cut the mustard as we've shown in the previous video and here we go with the carbon diaphragm again. Most of the problems we see with these is this little diaphragm here, as you know. 
and this one's got the telltale baggy gasket and these little flaps tend to wear and break over time as well which causes uh, the issue so if I just take that off and show you you may not see a lot of uh, problems here but that baggy that's in that center diaphragm tends to cause a problem and also these little flaps here and this is what causes the uh, hunting and revving up and down so lucky enough we've got a new set in stock to change that the fuel tank looks okay and clean although you know it's something which you will find is a problem always we empty the petrol out as Gary's going to do now just to make sure that it's all clean in there and blow all the little jets of the airways out so if you don't think there's any money to be made in doing this sort of stuff go and check out other people's channels like mower man for example paul paul started uh, doing these uh, quite a few years ago now repairing lawnmowers for profit and he's actually created a, an instructional dvd and uh, if you're interested in starting doing this although there's plenty of videos on youtube Paul's videos actually show you how he goes along and buys the mowers right the way through to what he services, the type of mowers he buys and how he advertises and finds them and how he actually sells them and uh, how, what sort of profits he makes. He does uh, all that on his instructional DVD. So if you want to pop over to the Mower, mower Man uh, Repairing Lawn Mowers for Profit channel, I'll leave a link in the description below. Check him out. Have a look at the DVD. He's got a DVD. It's only pretty cheap anyway. Plus, he, he'll answer all your questions for you as well if you do get stuck. And, uh, yeah, so people are making lots and lots of money. I've got lots of people on Facebook as well who uh, follow me, who are also buying mowers now and making money doing it. And you do get people say, oh, but we can't find any mowers. They're not around me. If you look for them, they're out there, believe me. I've seen people come in from a standing start, not having any mowers whatsoever, and suddenly they're coming out of the woodwork with them. Loads and loads, let's say dozens of them let's say and they've done that in just because they're starting to look in the right places and think in a certain way so these things are out there little opportunities and you've got to make sure that you enjoy if you enjoy tinkering about with engines or playing about with a few hand tools this is something that's readily learnable many people are doing it so if you don't do it now other people will do it it's a missed opportunity so if you want something to do in your spare time and you like tinkering give lawnmowers a go they are great fun believe me anyway Gary's out what have you found anything no it's clean Everything's clean in there, so all he's going to basically do is change the gasket and diaphragm. We'll have a look at the plug, we'll take the plug out and all. He's already checked the oil, nothing needs to be done there. And uh, all he'll do, he, he blew the, the uh, carb out, just as a matter of precaution, because they have got little jets in them, or one main jet basically, but uh, it's all plastic on these, the bodies are plastic, so providing you give it a good clean out and a squirt with carb cleaner, that's normally good enough. Right, so I mean, we don't keep many, many spares, but we've got this rack in here, for example, where most of the stuff here is for the Briggs and Stratton. As you can see up the top there, we've got the uh, exhaust categories and fuel tanks and stuff like that, and uh, the guards as well. A lot of the lawnmowers we buy second hand have got, have got the guards missing, so we always keep some spares there, or if we've stripped any down. Uh, then we've got things like carburetors and air filters on here, for example, and as you can see, more carbs down here, which Sometimes you do get a carb which is uh, beyond repair or is damaged or whatever and you know it's always handy to have another one to replace it with at the end of the day. Then we've got things like recoil covers as well down there, other fuel tanks as well so uh, and there's a few spare engines of different types down here basically. So you know th this is just what we gather, there's an old uh, Honda engine down there which is a handy thing and uh, yeah I mean it's handy to have these sort of things but we also keep a uh, stock of gaskets and diaphragms and stuff and the sort of stuff that we keep as I say is uh, again gaskets and diaphragms uh, we've got some spark plugs these are only cheap ones I normally do get the NGK ones but uh, we've got head gaskets things like that in there I've got a compression tester uh, we've got spark plug testers as you can see there and feeler gauges these I'm not too sure about these I'll show you for why in a minute uh, these are the again the cheap pattern ones that I've got and I'm although they look okay when they're new we've got one I'll show you in a minute which I've fitted and it's deteriorated already we don't keep a lot of Tecumseh stuff although we have got some O seals and things there for most common things that fail on the Tecumseh ones are the float bowl seals and as you can see there we've got a, a few there I find Tecumseh parts very hard to come by here in the UK but uh as I say, normally it's a float bowl which just gives us the problem. When you take them apart, sometimes they deteriorate. So we have got some of them as well. 
uh, head gaskets as you can see there for different Briggs and Stratton engines. So really that's that's all we've really got in the way of spares or new spares or replaceable spares and that tends to do us. Right so this lawnmower here is my own personal lawnmower and the reason why I wanted to show you this one is because I did fit last year a pattern primer bowl and I went to prime it the other day, I don't know whether you can actually see that or not but it's actually all cracking and splitting and this has only been on for well last summer actually to be honest with you and this is going to need replacing again very very shortly so the point I'm showing you this for is that pattern parts as I did mention before although they seem to be good when they're new and look look identical to normal ones the deterioration factor is very prevalent so if you're servicing parts people's lawnmowers and you're putting these pattern parts on beware because they're going to be coming back to you and they won't be very happy after a one season then the part that you've actually fitted is actually uh, deteriorated again so I won't be using them I only get the original stuff when it comes to these sort of things they're rubber you're pushing on them all the time and at the end of the day they do wear and pattern parts don't seem to cut the mustard by the looks of it the only other item we tend to stock is some engine oil and we also stock the pull cord as well I buy that in a roll and we just cut it off to length off of a roll when we uh, when we need it basically but I'm pretty low on that at the moment so I've got to get some more a lot of people ask what sort of engine oil you put in these. I'll just put any generic cheap engine oil in for the simple reason being there's no oil ways in these engines. It's just a splash oil system. You know, they talk about, oh yeah, cold starting, you know, oil needs to be a certain viscosity to go through the oil ways. There is no oil way. So you'll hear a lot of people recommend a certain engine oil. I'll just buy the cheapest car oil which I can. And I've seen people run these on vegetable oil. It's amazing how resilient and robust these engines are. And I know there is specifications in everything there's got to be because you've got to play within the rules at the end of the day But uh, if you're gonna say spend sort of uh, loads and loads of money on lawnmower oil as they call it There is no such thing as lawnmower oil. It's a basic engine with a, a splash type oil circulation system with no oil ways You make your own decision. I've made mine. I know what I do. So you just check the plug on it the plugs actually good colors Okay the plug can go back in and everything here looks fine as you can see the governor arm has been put back and it's all moving freely as it should do you probably don't think you see that in the shadows but never mind take my word for it the rubber boot has been put back on there and what we also do at the end of it we'll just lift up the deck and just make sure that everything's uh, sound underneath there and uh, that will then complete our repair in this lawnmower in probably about 15 to 20 minutes one of the telltale signs of people touching these lawnmowers or playing about them themselves is they put that air filter around the other way because that goes on anyway but as you can see there the design of the lid of the uh, recoil cover is designed around the angle of that and a lot of people put that around the wrong way it's just a telltale sign that someone's been playing about with it that's all so final thing is to go on with the cover and as you probably see there he's left that off for the moment always a safety issue that leave it off but like me sometimes i forget and i try to start it with it off you imagine doing your hobby like this at home and then after you get known your hobby becomes your job where you t it transposes you can be working out in your environment wherever you are at home instead of having to go for uh, for work get up at seven o'clock in the morning be in at seven be away from your family and your friends all day and then have only, your only time is the weekends and the evenings this is now a week or a weekday now i know it's bank holiday but this is work this is what you can do if you actually put your mind to it and say, I'm gonna make the change, I wanna make my life better. And it can happen with just fixing these little things. Right, so we're gonna put the fuel back in it now. You got the fuel, Jimmy, Gary? Yeah. And let's hope that uh, this little simple service you've seen here, just tip it up first, I'll just have a look at that blade underneath. Yeah, absolutely fine. No problems there at all. So you can put the fuel back in now. Right, let's try this out.
Right, now you probably see that smoking. Gary's just informed me that uh, the chap who had it, because it had a problem, he tipped it up on his side. Now what that's done, it's filled the, the inlet up with uh, oil and it's just sucking that through, so it's gonna have to burn off. So it's running perfectly. We're just gonna burn that off now, just to let you see that it's gonna be running fine. So off you go, Gary, start it again. Right, there you go, as you saw the smoke's burned off lovely now, so uh, we're going to take this back to the owner and happy days and get on with our bank holiday Monday. Thanks very much, hope you enjoyed this little video. Don't forget, give it a go. If you want a hobby and you're pretty handy with your tools and you've got a basic tool kit, have a look around for some lawnmowers. Try Facebook and try eBay. Try your local auctions, try your shop windows. See you later, bye for now.